the dust you see the dust on there we're gonna pour off the actual soap fairy eggs for another project but we're gonna keep the dust so I'm gonna put these back in the freezer we're gonna take all that dust and rub it into some coconut cream powder I'm gonna put a little coconut cream powder in there because I like coconut cream powder in my bath bombs and a little bit of glutinous rice flour which I have been loving in my bath bombs these days it's not something that a lot of people use in fact I've never heard of anyone else using it besides me glutinous rice flour for those of you who don't know what that is it's wonderful stuff it's a good substitute if you don't like using cornstarch so we're gonna get as much of that blue fairy dust as we can for our very magical, very wonderful DIY fairy dust. So bath bomb makers have a very special product out there called fairy dust. Now why we call it fairy dust is because frankly uh, it's too horrible to imagine all of this wonderful stuff going to waste and so um, we often save any bath bombs that uh, um, don't work like like the weather hits it like a humid day could cause them all to go poof and yet that one right there is just fine yet they're the same recipe right um, it's you know it's really hard when you're um, first starting especially to get it right every single time so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a fun fairy dust now I'm gonna use some really cute embeds I've got here I'll show you these I don't want to lose that. Don't want to lose our actual fairy dust. That was that took me all day to collect. I am going to tear up some of these soap leaves, and I'm going to slice up these so that they're pretty little little things in my soap. Now this is not a fizzy. Well, I guess it is fizzy, but it's not a foamy bath um, bath treat. It's not a bubble bath because the soap's going to um, counteract the bubbles. But I thought this stuff was so pretty that I wanted to put it in this batch because, oh, it's so pretty. I don't want the brown one though. Alright, so let me give these a little slice. Just cut these up. We can have some little curls in there too. So we've got sprinkles and we've got curls. And this is just going to be fun. Because bath bombs don't normally have these cute little things in them. Sometimes they do. We're just going to go ahead and crinkle that in. Now I don't need to add any fragrance because I've already got fragrance in there and these fragrances work together so that works for me so next I'm going to toss in the actual fairy dust I'm going to toss it in. Okay. so you take any bath bomb and pretty little thing like that now a basic bath bomb is made with sodium bicarbonate citric acid and sometimes different emollient butters and almost always beautiful um, dyes. Now, because I want this to sparkle, 
I want to give this some sparkle. We're going to also add one of my favorite micas. And I want it to be deeply sparkly in my bath. I want a to be able to just put a dash of this in my bath and have like a galaxy bath, like a lush galaxy type bath. I want to see lots of sparkle in my bath because that's how I roll guys. That's how I roll. So this beautiful batch is just about ready. I am going to add an additional two cups of bicarb and one cup of citric acid. So let's get the citric acid in there. And I'll just go grab the bicarb. Wonderful. So I'm going to add, this is a very floral scent. I'm going to add to this some vanilla. All right, so we're going to add a whole box of baking soda. And to that, I'm going to be using Vanillieri from Fragrance Betty. I like theirs. It's really good. I'm going to add... There is a recommended amount. I just like mine lightly scented. To some, this might be too much. To me, it's just right. Now, the embeds I'm hoping will give me a nice pop of color, but if not, I've got a few others I could add in as well. That is gorgeous, guys. I mean, so beautiful. I really want that. And a little goes a very long way. Like that's going to be one of the most powerful. Looking guys, and if that's not teal, I'm gonna be crying. Because I've got a few of these that are mismarked. <laughs> Let's give this a spritz and see what the color comes out at. Oh, there we go. Isn't that nice? Gorgeous. So what I'm doing here is I've got them in two separate containers because I'm going to have to let this one dry. I don't want it to clump together. So I need this one to dry. I'm actually going to use more because I don't think that's going to be dark enough in the water. So let's test it out. Okay, so here's our test. Yeah, it's... No. It's pretty blue. I think I'm going to add... I'm going to add a darker blue to that. I'm going to use some of this FD and C one aluminum lake and a little bit of this now this doesn't go as far I'm going to use the same one so I'm going to have to use a little more that's going to be a pretty color I can tell already I love that teal teal is doing that. Every time I put on my lids, it goes everywhere. <laughs> With the bags, you get a little poof every once in a while. With the, <laughs> With the jars, every time you put your lid on and off, you end up with a mess. So I'm just telling you now, bath bomb making is messy. And that's closer to the color of the actual fairy dust. So let's do another sample. So there's enough here for me to share. How nice. We'll have a few of these in the store. So I'm going to use a smaller mica as well. So we've got that large one over there. I'm going to use this little intergalactic. 
when you have a couple of different micas in the water, it just looks fantastic, I think. It's like taking a bath in liquid metal. It's just absolutely decadent. It really, really is. And when I bring you back, we'll find a few more of these deep pink ones because I think it needs more of them. And I have lots of inbeds, so I'll bring you back when this is dry. All right, so I'm going to add some of this mix. This is fun. These gorgeous. I want them to be nice big pieces. Um, not that big. These are fun. These are really fun. All the dust in the bottom of this bag. Go ahead take all the embed dust. These things were kind of fragile. And put some of the big ones back out. I can use those in other projects. Pretty guys, it's going to be spectacular. Alright. <laughs> Looks like a big munch, big bunch of junk, doesn't it? <laughs> that little bit of yellow though is gonna do beautiful things. Alright. So just in case this uh I wish I had more pink, but I don't. I don't have any more pink. I gotta make more pink. You guys want me to show you how to make bath bombs? I am in bed. So I'm gonna take all of this and spread it out on a sheet, a cookie sheet. Let's see if I can find one. I'll be right back. Alrighty. So I've got this pan. I'm gonna dump all the space junk on there. <laughs> The fairy dust. <laughs> and let it dry. Now these little pops of yellow color and orange and pink are really fun. You just put a, toss a handful in and enjoy. Now, sprinkles. I thought we could use all through it as well. And then the last of those I'm going to dust with mica. The blue mica. The dark blue mica. And you can get these in Michaels. They're great. These little bring it back when it's time to put them in jars. All right, so we're packing up the jars and I'm just gonna finish them off with a little bit of twinkle sprinkle because it's so cute. This one is attention to detail. So if you'd like to get one of these for yourself, just head on over to my Etsy shop. I'm working on a free shipping plan of some sort. My guess is it's going to be big orders, <laughs> but you'll get to a sort with what you want in order to get the, the, uh, the discount, but that's the shipping discount because it cost me $20 to ship you one bar of soap, but it also only cost me $20 to send you six bars of soap. So, um, we'll figure it out. We'll work on something. And those of you who love me, 
will want to come back, I'm sure. All right, so we're going to do a demo next, so stay tuned for that. Okay, we're going to try the fairy dust. It doesn't take a lot. 